What's up, you guys? Your boy LT Tom West, man, and I'm back at it again with another video. And man, the draft is approaching very quickly, man. The draft is on Thursday, April 26th, man. I'm super excited about the first round of the draft, and it'll obviously carry on for the weekend. But I'm only doing the mock drafts from pick 21 to pick 32. Those are the only picks I'm doing on these videos. But today, I told y'all we will focus on the next set, which be which would uh, excuse me, which would be the set from the 11th pick all the way to the 20th pick. So the 11th pick um is actually the Miami Dolphins. The 12th pick is the Buffalo Bills. The 13th pick is the uh, Washington Redskins. The 14th pick is the Green Bay Packers. The 15th pick is the uh, Arizona Cardinals. The 16th pick is the Baltimore Ravens. The 17th pick is the LA Chargers. I gotta get used to calling them LA. Um, and the 18th pick is the Seattle Seahawks. The 19th pick is the, Ca the Dallas Cowboys. And then the 20th pick is the Detroit Lions. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off with there. Well, we'll start off at 11 at the Miami Dolphins. Um, I think this guy, honestly, may be the most talented guy to actually come out of this draft. I know he's getting picked late, but it's kind of because those teams at the top really don't need his position as much. And I think the 11th pick will be Denzel Ward from Ohio State. Um, he reminds me a lot of Marshawn Lattimore. I think a lot of people seen what Marshawn Lattimore did last year in the lead. And um, in the league, and they, I mean, he won defense rookie of the year. The guy was very talented. So I think that's a guy that you definitely have to look out. Uh, Denzel Ward was actually his backup at um, Ohio State. So I'm pretty sure he learned behind Marshawn Lattimore. And I, I'm expecting to see the same type of, um, you know, really aggressive, um, very, I don't want to say holdish, because Marshawn Lattimore does a lot of holding. But very aggressive type play, very upfront press, man to man type play. Um, you'll see probably a lot of that out of Denzel Ward, but he's a very talented guy. Um, and I think he's going to definitely be a good fit if he does go to the Dolphins. Uh, the next pick, I have the Bills taking the quarterback, uh, Baker Mayfield. Uh, a lot of people got Baker Mayfield going in the um, top three picks, really. Um, I think the only thing that makes him gonna that's going to make him kind of fall off a little bit is his arrogance, his attitude, um, things like that. Um, I just don't think that a lot of teams will take that the right way, especially at their top three or four pick. I know a lot of people have him going to the Jets in their mock draft, but to me, I think I could see him going to the Buffalo Bills. But I do think he's very talented. I think he is more talented than Josh Allen and all those guys at the top. I think the only quarterback up top that's really better than him personally is um, – Donald. I think that's the only one that, to me, is personally better than Baker Mayfield. But I think Baker Mayfield would be a heck of an addition to the Bills. The Bills are looking like they're going in a complete rebuild because they let go of their starting quarterback. So, um, yeah, that's that's it with that. I really do think that they'll pick a quarterback right here and they'll take uh, Baker Mayfield. Uh, 13, I had the Washington Redskins actually taking Deron Payne from Alabama. Um, I've watched this guy terrorize, legit terrorize um, my team in college football three years in a row now. Um, Deron Payne from Alabama is a man child. Um, that guy is very talented, um, very big, very versatile. Um, kid's just really good. I mean, I, I watched them when they played against Clemson this year, and they had him in the backfield as like a H-back. And like he was moving fast and like really laying blocks and this guy he's really talented man so and also he caught a touchdown uh in that game as well i, I don't know if it was a two-point conversion or touchdown i can't re quite remember right now but deron Payne, man he's the real deal he's very athletic typical you know d-line d-line from alabama um next pick i actually have the packers taking joshua jackson from um iowa very talented kid he reminds me of a lot of Last year, Iowa had another good corner named Desmond King. He, he kind of reminds me of him, but he's a lot more lengthier, a little bit more taller than him as well. Um, Joshua Jackson is very versatile. He can play. He can um, really just, you know, he has all the intangibles that he needs as a, um, as a corner. And I really do think he's going to be successful in the league. Um, at 15, now a lot of people are probably going to disagree with me on this one. I have the Cardinals taking a former Cardinal. Lamar Jackson. I think Lamar Jackson would fit perfect with, um, you know, Steve Wilkes and in that camp. I think it would be a really good fit for him as well because, I mean, let's be honest, the Arizona Cardinals last year had the oldest um, roster in the league. And right now, it sounds like they're about to go through a complete rebuild. You know, Carson Palmer just um, 
he just retired, and then they just signed Sam Bradford for only to a one-year deal. So, I mean, I think that would really help Lamar just get a little help, you know, get a little – and he won't have to jump in and start right away either because I think that's what a lot of teams are worried about, that Lamar Jackson will have to hop in and start day one. Um, he won't really have to do that if Sam Bradford is there, although Sam Bradford is known for having, you know, a little bit injury prone. But Lamar Jackson, I think, will be a perfect fit for the Cardinals. I really do like that. And that would be a good way to start your rebuild, honestly, is to get Lamar Jackson. He's very electric. I feel like a lot of the scouts are not giving him the respect that he deserves. And that guy is really talented, and I think they're just not respecting him. He's won the Heisman. Honestly, his stats this year were better than last year. Um, so I don't even know why he didn't win the Heisman twice. But, you know, they said that's pretty hard to do, so I understand. Um, at 16, I have the Ravens taking Calvin Ridley out of Alabama. Um, another guy I've seen terrorize my team three years in a row. Um, Calvin Ridley is a beast. Um, I really did hope he would fall a little bit further so my Panthers maybe could pick him up. But I think he's going to be going to the top 16 picks, personally. Um, he's very talented, very fast, um, a Florida guy. Um, so I, I think, honestly, he'll be a good fit for Ravens. Ravens need some 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 power in the, the passing game. Joe Flacco has really had no weapons, if you really think about it. Um, but, yeah, I think they'll take Calvin really there. And I have the Chargers getting Melvin, um, Melvin Ingram some help. Uh at linebacker with the guy from Boise State, I'm probably going to butcher your name, but um, LinkedIn Vanderbilt East. Um, I don't know if that's German, um, but uh, a lot of people are telling me. I, lo- I watched the YouTube highlights on him, and a lot of people, he kind of reminds me of like a Luke Keekley a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you. He kind of reminds me of Luke Keekley. He he has this tough grit and grind about him, uh, very smart, uh, football IQ on point. Um, he's no, He knows where to be at the right time. That's what I've seen from the film, at least. And he knows where to be and um, what time to be there. He's, he's always in the right place at the right time. So I think that could be a steal pick for them, um, especially the Chargers. They have a lot of holes to fill. Um, I feel like the Chargers are just a few players away from being actually a pretty good team. Now. Um, at 18, I have them getting Russell Wilson some help up in Seattle with an O-lineman Billy Price from Ohio State. Um, that O-line was atrocious um, last year. Um, really just really not. Really for the past two years, that line has been horrible. Um, but, yeah, I definitely see them. They need to get up some help at O-line. I feel like the Seahawks are kind of going through a rebuild right now, too. I mean, the Legion of Boom is gone. Your best wide receiver is uh, Baldwin. I mean, I'm not saying he's horrible, but, I mean, I feel like he's kind of getting of age. And I just feel like they're kind of going through a rebuild right now. The Legion of Boom is just breaking up left by left. Uh, so, I mean, it's just kind of like kind of weird to see them kind of break up like that because the Seahawks have been such a power for the last, what, five or six years? And I feel like the window is kind of closing on them, so I do feel like an old lineman will be good to start off to get uh, Russell Wilson's protection. Um, at 19, another guy that everybody is raving about, uh, the Cowboys definitely need help at wide receiver, so I think they'll go get DJ Moore from Maryland. A lot of people compare him to Stephon Diggs. Maybe that's because Stephon Diggs went to Maryland, but – a lot of people are comparing him to Stephon Diggs. Um, but DJ Moore, very talented. I watched the highlights on him, too, because I didn't see many Maryland games this year. I don't watch Maryland. I don't keep up with them like that. Uh, but I watched his games. He's very fast. Um, he can make people miss in space. Um, I really do think they'll be a good fit for the Cowboys. But I feel like the Cowboys, at this point, have to go wide receiver in the first round. Um, right now, their best wide receiver is Alex Hearns. That that answers your question. And I'm not saying Alex Hearns is bad or anything like that, but that that should he should probably be your second best wide receiver, not your first. And then at the last pick of of this part with the Detroit Lions, I actually have been taking uh, Taven Bryan from uh, Florida. The end. Uh, he's very versatile too, as well. I think he could even maybe if he he maybe he could even play some outside linebacker possibly too, um, if he wanted to. But I would say the end for most for the most part. Uh, but I also could see him probably playing some vers- uh, some outside linebacker too. But I think this guy's very versatile, very athletic. Uh, I watched a couple of the Florida games this year. Hey, I've seen him a few times, but not a lot. Um, but I watched the highlight films on him as well. I studied him, and he's very – for his side, he's very explosive, very fast. I think uh, the Lions will be getting a great pick getting Brian right here. I think he will make a difference in their defense almost like immediately. I think he will be a big-time impact. Um but uh, I would even like to see him, if he could fall to the Panthers, I wouldn't mind the Panthers taking him either. 
But um, that's it for today, you guys. Um, like I said, I will probably be dropping another video. It will probably be Tuesday or Wednesday, or maybe even both, or maybe even both days. I'll be dropping something. Um, I'll probably drop that final part of the mock draft on one day. Uh, I might do that on Wednesday, and then I might drop something else on Tuesday for you guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, that's it. Keep on subscribing to the channel, man. I have a lot more coming for you guys. And you guys just stay tuned, man. All right, I'm out.